remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. In the last couple of years, retirees in Delta State have been engaged in a battle with the state government over the non-payment of their outstanding pensions and gratuity arrears. They are regularly embarked on protests to the state capital, Asaba, as part of attempts to confront the state governor, Senator Ifai Okowa. Last week, retired primary school teachers in Delta State were again in Asaba as part of their usual protest where they blocked off the Anwai Road, Asaba, where the Delta State Government House is located. Hundreds of retired primary school teachers, with some looking weak and frustrated, stormed the Delta State Government House, Asaba, to demand for their outstanding pension and gratuity arrears. The protesting retirees carried placards with several inscriptions directed at Governor Ifai Okoa. One of the placards reminded the governor that he was owing both living and dead retirees. Leader of the retirees, Chief Mrs. C. A. J. told journalists that in spite of repeated promises, Governor Okoa had bluntly refused to honor his words, thus making life extremely difficult and unbearable for the retirees. We are dying. Some of our children that we were not able to train before we retired, they are out of school. So many of us are out of a uh, house as a tenant. You can't have you, you, no money to pay for your rent. For his part, Governor Okowa, who was away in Oshun State supporting his party, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the just-concluded gubernatorial elections, had consistently acknowledged the debt owed pensioners in the state. Governor Okowa said the huge outstanding pension and gratuity owed retirees in the state was as a result of the state government's enrollment in the new contributory pension scheme without proper planning. He assured the retirees that in spite of the slight error, the state government will not exit the contributory pension scheme. We have refused, even when we know the difficulty, we have refused to exit that scheme as other states have done. Because it was much easier for us to just exit and continue with the old pension scheme. But we believe in the interest of workers and we want the workers to be able to benefit. And uh, we have no apologies. We'll continue to do what is. Governor Okowa also confirmed that the retirees will benefit from the 150 billion naira bridging finance loan that the state government secured recently from Zenith Bank PLC. He said Delta State was yet to access the loan because the federal government had not commenced the payment of his debt to Delta State from where the loan will be repaid. The monies that the federal government is uh, owing the state, uh, uh, we were thinking that if they were able to start the payment because they started the deductions, uh, we would not be in a place to uh, take uh, a bridging finance based on that money which is supposed to accrue to us. Now, as of today, I've refused to take that finance. The reason is I want to be sure that the federal government has started making the reform. Because if they don't start to make the reform and you take a bridging finance, it means you don't have a means of payback. A total of 30 billion naira has been earmarked to settle outstanding pension arrears from the 150 billion naira loan. According to the Delta State Commissioner of Finance, Fidelis Tilije, 20 billion will go to the state government retirees, while 10 billion naira will go to local government retirees in the state. The governor is also equally very mindful of the fact that pensioners are suffering. We will be spending 20 billion naira out of this fund to reduce state pension outstanding of past due. I keep stressing the, 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 the past due uh, variable because that's exactly what it is. Ordinarily, as you speak, we are not owing, there is no outstanding whatsoever on current pension due to any human being that is a pensioner. And the intention of the state government too is to also advance 10 billion naira to the Bureau of Local Government as grant to enable them also reduce whatever outstanding and the uh, uh, negative impact on our pensioners. As the Delta State Government continues to wait on the 150 billion loan facility, some Deltans who are dissatisfied with the state government's penchant for collecting loans are asking the state government to demonstrate transparency and disclose not just the interest rate of the loan, but the terms and conditions as well. They say this would enable them to support the state government's bid to secure the bridging finance loan facility. Given the several projects that the Delta State Government is hoping to utilize the loan for, 
it will not be out of place for the state government to furnish all Deltans with the necessary information about the loan so as to get their buy-in and support. This will enable the state government to have access to the loan without objections and thereafter take care of its many obligations including settling outstanding pension and gratuity areas of retirees in the state. Inside the Niger Delta, 